What's up? It's Truth Hero, and welcome back to another My Hero Academia video. Boku no Hero Academia Chapter 209 of the manga. I don't know what's going to happen in this chapter, but I have some predictions. I assume Horikoshi's going to conclude the joint training arc between Class 1A and Class 1B, and have the final battle where Team Deku faces off against Shinzo and Monoma. So this is what this video will focus on. A few other things, but really, all the crazy and absurd things that could happen between these three major players, those being Deku, Shinzo, and Monoma. And yes, we will be discussing what would happen if Monoma were to copy one for all. Stay tuned. Now, while this battle will introduce three new quirks from Class 1B, there's not really a point in focusing on all of them since we really don't know what they do. We know there's size quirk which allows the girl to, I guess, become big or small. And then there's twin impact which just sounds like a physical quirk. The only one that's really notable here is from Reiko Yanagi and that is Poltergeist. And I'll talk about this a bit later. On to predictions. Let's talk about who's going to win this battle. Class 1A has two victories and Class 1B has one win. And between them they have a draw. I predict that Class 1B is going to win this battle. Let me explain. Now I know Deku is our main character, but there are a few reasons why I think he should actually lose here. The first one actually being Bakugo. As we saw in the last chapter, Bakugo had some great character development. He showed leadership skills and very tactical and smart decisions, not just physical power and prowess. If Deku is able to do the same thing in this chapter, it makes them even. And right now, I think Horikoshi wants Deku just behind Bakugo. This would explain why Deku and Bakugo, when they fought, Deku still lost. I think Horikoshi wants to keep Deku right behind him, but act as a motivator for Bakugo to keep excelling. The second reason, and I think this is a little more important, is Shinzo needs a win. Now I know he won his last battle, but his performance is rather lackluster, and he still has such a long way to go mastering the Scarf from Aizawa. Perhaps he could lose, but I don't even want him to lose as a team. Maybe he could be thrown in jail after doing some good work to help his team get ahead in the battle? I'm not sure, but it feels wrong having Shinzo have such a bad performance and then also lose in this battle. I know a lot of people want Shinzo to move into Class 1A or even Class 1B as a hero and out of general studies. If he doesn't excel in this battle, I'm sorry, I don't see purple hair brainwasher boy, best boy in my opinion, moving up in the ranks. Or if he does lose, then he'll have to be reintroduced in a subsequent chapter when we've sort of forgotten that he was progressing. So, Shinzo, I want to win for you, buddy. Go get him. Regardless of which team is actually fated to win, this could be one of the craziest, most absurd, quirkiest chapters in My Hero Academia. No, seriously, quirky, as in quirk stuff. The combination of quirks in this battle is just ridiculous, and this is because of the three major players them of course being Monoma, Shinzo, and Deku. Let's get into these three. Now let's first discuss Monoma as I'm sure he's the character on everyone's mind. The question we all want answers to is what would happen if Nato Monoma were to copy one for all? Luckily I've actually done a video on this topic which I'll leave in the description below and you can check out here. But basically two major things were asked in this video's comment section. One, assuming Monoma could touch Deku and copy one for all, wouldn't he just explode? Deku wrecked his body the first time he used his quirk, and Monoma can only copy a quirk, but has no real practice with it. Personally, I do not think Monoma would just explode. It says in Monoma's wiki page that he actually gains some knowledge of using the quirk. Now, if you were to touch Deku, I'm sure he couldn't use it as effectively since he's never trained with the quirk. The second thing that was brought up, and this is the really interesting one for me, was the question, could Monoma even copy One For All? If you'll remember, One For All is a quirk that allows its user to transfer to another person, but only when they choose to do this and truly consent to this. This is why Stain didn't become All Stain when he ingested Deku's blood, because Deku didn't consent to him having the quirk in his body. However, Monoma doesn't need your consent to touch you. Wait, what? That's right, Monoma doesn't need consent to use his quirk. He simply touches someone 
and can mimic their abilities for five minutes. This is an important distinction in copying as opposed to inheriting, transferring, or even stealing. This can create a loophole and actually allow Monoma to copy Deku's quirk. Personally, I think Monoma can copy it, but he probably wouldn't be too good at it. But let me know down below in the comments. Do you think Monoma can copy Deku's quirk? And if he did, what would happen? Okay, I lied. There's a third possibility. What if Monoma, in an attempt to copy Deku's one-for-all quirk, copies something else? There are a few theories out there that suggest that the doctor that worked with Deku and told him he didn't have a quirk is the same doctor working with All for One. What if All for One took Deku's quirk and by virtue of Monoma touching Deku, we find out what his original quirk would be? I know it's a long shot, but it's food for thought. The other character here is Shinso. Now, as we saw in the first battle, he's very powerful, especially with the mask that can alter his voice and mimic people's teammates. But what I see happening here is actually Monoma copying his own teammate's quirk, and especially that of Shinso. Just imagine how powerful that team would be. They not only have one Shinso, they have another one that can just as easily touch one of his teammates and adapt his quirk. This could be particularly helpful with the quirk Poltergeist, which, if I had to predict, as the name would suggest, it's about moving objects with your mind or in a ghost spirit-like fashion. What if that quirk could move Monoma around the battlefield and he could keep touching people, I guess unconsensually, and copying their quirks so they never know what Monoma is actually doing? On top of this, Monoma could always copy Shinso and they'll never know where he is or who to talk to. Imagine how hard it would be for Deku, Uraraka, Mineta especially, and Mina to communicate with each other and win this battle if they don't know when they can talk. They would have to look at each other's mouths the entire time against Shinso and Monoma, but if you're doing this, you can't fight. Very powerful. Very powerful indeed, Shinso. This, this combination's crazy. In case you hadn't guessed it by now, I think Monoma is the key to this battle. He's incredibly powerful with Shinso, he'll be incredibly strong if he copies Deku's quirk, and like all the other Class 1B students that have been training hard, he's probably been honing his abilities as well. He can touch someone and copy their abilities for 5 minutes, but he can only copy one quirk at a time. Well, if we're truly pushing our limits and breaking our barriers and going plus ultra, why can't he extend that to 2 quirks at the same time, or 3 quirks at a time? And why does it have to be 5 minutes? Why can't it be 6, 7, or even 10 minutes? I really hope we get a chance to see Monoma shine in this battle, because unlike everyone probably watching this video, he's one of my favorite characters. Please don't hate. Just kidding. We all know Shinzo's just gonna mimic Uraraka's voice, and then Mineta will come running, followed by Deku. Game over Class 1A. No, but in all seriousness, I do want to see Shinzo use his scarf more effectively, and I want to see him be more physical. Why can't he get one punch in? Regardless of what happens, I just hope some crazy stuff goes down with Monoma, Shinzo, and Deku, and I hope we get some answers from Horikoshi to these questions. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below, what is Monoma gonna do? What is Shinzo gonna do? And if you're a noob and support Class 1A, what is Deku gonna do to stop them? Leave your predictions down below. And until next time, plus ultra. Yeah.